so when we play this game, it's like, okay, we have something, we have our walls, we can move. Uh, but it's a little bit boring. And the reason it's a little bit boring, it's because we don't have any verticality in our game. So what I mean by that is, if I have a game like this, let's just say this is my player, and this is my ground, and this is my goal. So the player can go this direction, and we don't want that, because it's a little boring. The way you can fix this is just, you have your player here, and you have your pad, but you have a small little elevation here, and then you have your goal. Now, this one is much more fun than this one. This is what you want always. So a rule is whenever you, the player needs to walk a lot, we need to break this. And the way we break it is by adding elevation. It can be by going up or it can be by going down. But we must stop the player from walking for very long distances. Okay? This is one of the rules you need to keep in mind. So, how are we going to apply this? Okay, let me clear. The way we're going to apply this is by actually modeling some elevations here. And I'm going to do this by using my box shape. I'm going to drag this and I'm going to put it here. And next, I'm going to poly edit and I'm going to move the faces here. Just like that. And I'm going to put something like this. Okay, so now this is more interesting. I have I can go to the right. But what I want to do actually is to go up. So what I'm going to do is to select this one, move it here, maybe move this one a little bit like this. I'm going to select this one and click extrude. And then when I drag the mouse, I can extrude the face. Then I click here. Accept, and then what I'm going to do is to poly edit again, and this time I will grab one edge. And then what I just need to do is to grab something like this, just like that. Okay, and we will see if the elevation is too high or not. But if we go here, we can actually go here. And this is much more fun than actually going only to the right. Okay.